is Rashi Gaur, Global Consultant, Astrology, Numerology, Vastu and Feng Shui. And today I'm bringing you your weekly prediction for the week of 20th of November. Let's see what you have coming for you this week. The thing is that as we move towards this week, the first half of the week is going to capture your focus towards a certain sense of responsibility. There will be a certain aspect about your life which will be calling out to you to show more attention or focus to that particular aspect. See, the thing about astrology is that it acts like a guiding torch. You know, it shows you the way where you find darkness. And once you understand this particular aspect of astrology and start maneuvering your way around it, according to that, you feel so much more better. When responsibilities come to you this week in a very, very big manner, what I would suggest to you is to embrace it like a joyful dance because once you start enjoying something it does not seem so difficult so the whole idea about this week's predictions is mainly to tell you what is that area of life that is demanding your focus what is that area of life which you should not be ignoring at all the first half of the week is going to make you feel very um, you know restricted and as you move towards the second half of the week most of you would feel that you want to set free you want to uh, change the course of you know whatever it is happening you want to break away from that intensity there would be a little bit of a rebellious streak in some of you and i'm going to guide you as how to move forward as you move forward from the first half of the week to the second half of the week but before we start the weekly predictions as promised i'm going to be bringing to you a special tip for the week This particular week, the tip for you is a tip that is actually going to help you go through this week in so much more positive manner than otherwise you would. Very beautiful, very simple. It is not something that you can only do this week. It is something that you can do daily for the rest of your life. So when you wake up in the morning, fold your hands in gratitude to Sun, the giver of life, for putting you together today. Fold your hands in gratitude to Mother Earth for bringing you that grounding and that stability and that nurturing. Fold your hands in gratitude to Universe for bringing you abundance. And after that, try and sit cross-legged on the floor. You can take a yoga mat. If you find it difficult to sit cross-legged, then sit on the sofa, uh, sit on a chair. Whatever it is, just keep your spine straight as you do so. And try to focus within yourself and chant Om 21 times. If you can chant Om 21 times every morning, you will start to see a major shift in your life in a remarkable manner. So try it out and let's get started with your weekly predictions. Aries, your sense of responsibility this week is actually towards yourself. You have to really focus on your disciplined life. You have to focus on what you eat. You have to focus on your lifestyle. You have to focus on healthy habits this week. You may want to indulge in extra excesses of life. But if you do that, you will feel very, very overwhelmed by uh, the time this week starts coming to an end. So your first focus is to bring discipline to yourself. Extremely important. The second set of responsibility is going to be towards your children. If you have been neglecting your children or if you feel that there is a certain sense of responsibility that you have towards them, you need to spend more time with them, you need to mentor them, you need to guide them, then this is the week that you need to focus on them. If you are in a relationship, perhaps your um, romantic partner will expect a lot from you and you may feel a little burdened um, you know, giving that extra time or attention to them as well. So here for this week, especially the first half of the week, you're going to be extremely stressed and you may feel restricted. You may feel as if you're not being able to take decisions like you want to take. But remember that it is going to soon pass. As you move towards the second part of the week, the overthinking is only going to increase. And overthinking or too much thinking actually is the mother of all stresses. So instead of that, every time you want to overthink, go through the little tip that I have shared in the beginning or as do your yoga, meditation, go for a walk, whatever it is that can calm your mind down and reduce your stresses 
focus on that particular aspect and you'd be much better for the next sign taurus this particular week is going to be a strange mix of attention being required at work and attention being required at home you will be caught up in this pull and push situation when it comes to your home life or your home itself and it when it comes to your professional life uh, professionally whatever it is that is required from you at work try and give your 100% but at the same time you cannot ignore the responsibilities that are calling you back home now this is a crazy mix but it is something that you must adhere to to go through this week in the best way possible so you have to find that little balance between your home energies and your work energies perhaps it could be renovation that could be calling you it could be a certain issue at home which needs to be addressed immediately and if something needs to be addressed immediately at home do not ignore it no matter how much your work demands your time and attention and this is by far one of the most important things you need to know as you move into the week However, as you move into the second half of the week, you will suddenly see that you want to sort of break away from these responsibilities which are holding you back in terms of your work and in terms of your home. And suddenly you may want to meet friends and you may want to socialize, which is not going to be a bad time. You will actually enjoy yourself socializing with your friends in the second half of the week. But remember, don't overdo anything. As long as you maintain that balance, as long as you are you know, not going overboard, it is all going to be fine. Moving to the next sign, Gemini. This particular week, you're going to be seeing that there is going to be a lot of focus towards your siblings. It's your siblings who may require a lot of attention from you. It could be your older sibling or it could be your younger sibling. So in matters related to your brothers or sisters, there could be issues coming up. There could be a certain sense of responsibility that may be expected from you or else your own entire focus may be towards them. What I would really advise you is that on in this particular week, try and be the kind of sibling where you give 100% without expecting anything in return. And this is the best way forward. If you have a lot of expectations from your siblings, chances are that you may feel let down. In the same breath, when you are socializing, your social circle, your friends, whosoever it is that you meet publicly, be very watchful because you just may fall into some sort of a trap in the first half of the week. So if you are planning to socialize, if you're planning to meet friends, remember whatever it is that you're saying could be taken absolutely differently. It could actually come across as something that you have not meant to say. So the first half of the week is very, it's time to be extremely careful in terms of your social friends and in terms of your siblings. As you move into the second half of the week, surprisingly, your mind will be focused more towards work. You may be getting a lot of creative ideas as to how to expand your workspace. So like I said, balance between work and play is perhaps one of the best ways forward. And if your siblings do require some sort of attention from you, give it to them. For Cancer Zodiac sign, this particular week, especially the first half, is going to cause a lot of restrictions, restraints or challenges when it comes to your professional life. You may want to give it all up, but this is the time to not give it up. In fact, to give it your 100%. So no matter how many challenges at work come, you have to be that warrior who keeps moving forward with a smile on their face. Now, another aspect that is going to be strongly uh, affected is a lover or someone from your past life. It could be a friend, it could be a lover, it could be somebody who was there in your life previously, an ex-lover who is perhaps wanting to come back into your life again. What I would really suggest is, in terms of work, give it your 100% and move towards it like a warrior. But if an ex-lover or an ex-flame comes into your life, please move on. Do not try to dwell in the past. Try to move away from that past relationship because trust you me, it is only going to create more challenges in the months to come. So move away from anybody, an ex-partner, ex-lover who comes into your life. Instead, focus on your work. As you move towards the second half of the week, you are going to find those challenges or those restrictions definitely reducing a bit. Until such time, stay, stay strong. 
what do we have for Leo this week? This week is a tricky week because your home, your family, your relatives are going to demand a lot of attention from you. In terms of your spouse first, you will feel a certain sense of detachment and you may feel as if the spouse has let you down. The spouse could become the reason of your stress in this particular week. Your father could demand a lot of attention from you. Your mother could also demand a lot of attention from you. So if you feel you've been ignoring your responsibilities in terms of your parents, then this is a week that you need to look into it. At the same time, also focus on yourself and see how disciplined you can be this entire week. As the week progresses from the first half to second half, your responsibilities are only going to increase. The mental tension, the chaos is only going to go up. And you may want to move away from the shackles of this responsibility towards your family, towards your home. But trust you me, stick it out because this is the best way to conquer it. I have shared a beautiful remedy right in the mid beginning of this video and try and follow that remedy. Trust me, this is going to really help you understand it is all about managing the energies of your mind. Virgo, this week you may find competition really, really increasing for you. At work, especially at your workplace, you may feel as if there are enemies all around you. You may feel as if people are backbiting, there is a lot of politics going on, or even generally, even if you're not working, you may feel like you're having to beat a lot of competition. A lot of your energy is going to go into it, but stay strong because this is the only way forward. You have to learn to beat competition. As you move towards the second half of the week, you may start to find issues with your spouse. And again, spouse could become a reason for your sadness or for a certain kind of mental stress that you may feel. Don't let this affect you uh, because half of the times what really happens is that even if things are not happening, we perceive them to be happening in a certain way. Sometimes we make assumptions that are wrong. So we may feel as if the world is not by our side, the world has become our enemy, our spouse is not standing by us, but the truth be told, sometimes it is best to lie low and let the situation pass. As you move out of this week and move into another week, hopefully things will get better for you. But to be really honest, as I speak of Virgos, you have to be very careful for the next 15, 20, 25 days because Mercury is also not in a very, very strong position for you and Mercury is your Lagna Lord. So stay there, be patient and let this time pass. Libra, your entire focus, your entire responsibility is towards your marriage or spouse. Either you could get a new rishta your way and that rishta that you're getting your way may not go the way you wanted it to go. Or else if you're already married, your spouse may expect a lot from you or there could be a certain tiff, there could be a certain sense of detachment, there could even be a certain volatile energy between you and your spouse. Remember, if anybody has to compromise this week in their marriage, it has to be you. Similarly, your business partners. If somebody has to compromise this week between the two of you, it is you. So it is your responsibility. Put your 100% focus towards their relationship and it becomes your responsibility to fix it or to take it forward. The other thing is that in terms of socializing, if you're hearing something which is negative, do not pay too much attention to it. Ignore whatever it is that you hear socially because chances are that that may upset you incredibly. You may feel ignored in your certain friend circle. You may feel, feel cheated by a certain friend. Whatever it is, I would say lie low right now. Do not react to that situation too much. Focus where the focus needs to be and move forward. Towards the second half of the week, you would actually want to run away from all of this, whether it's your social inclination, whether it's your spouse, whether it's your responsibilities. You may actually want to literally take a break. It is not a bad idea to take a two to three day week and get away. It will actually do you good. Scorpio, this time it's your work which is going to demand a lot of focus from you. There's going to be a lot of competition 
and while there may be opportunities the competition could be holding you back and it may make you feel a little stressed so there will be opportunities there will be a lot of responsibility that your work will demand from you but this same opportunity at work is also going to become the reason for the mental stress that you will feel through the week and the best way forward this week is to continue giving your 100% to work be completely focused towards it and in order to combat that stress or that tension or that anxiety you must go hit the gym so go for your walk go for a run go do yoga do weight training whatever it is as long as you can actually go and exercise and along with that give your 100% to your work trust you me the outcome the end result of this is going to be fabulous with some very wonderful new opportunities so don't be disheartened with little glitches with little roadblocks with little challenges it's only momentary and it will pass for sagittarius this particular week is going to be very very demanding in terms of your children so if you're married and you have children they're going to be demanding a lot of attention from you and perhaps children can become one of the biggest reason for your stress try and handle them with a lot of patience and give your best to be able to bring that balance in your relationship with your child if they require some sort of help from you you should put everything else on the side to be by their side if you are in a romantic relationship then your romantic partner could also become the reason for your stress but remember if you want to take this relationship forward then this is the week where you need to put in a lot of focus a lot of sense of responsibility should come in your relationship towards your lover if you are a student then remember this is not the week to let go without doing anything constructive pay strong focus to your work make sure that your submissions are done on time do not ignore whatever it is that you need to do for some of you your father could also require your help or assistance if you require to fill in your forms for higher studies then this is the week that you should do it if you ignore any of these responsibilities you will actually regret it in the weeks to come now for capricorn this particular week is going to be all about home the focus the responsibility everything is all going to be all about your house so if you are one of those people who is absolutely ambitious focusing more on their professional life focusing more on the pursuit of making money then this is a week where you need to step back and you need to bring your focus back to your home and to the energies of your house it could be home renovation it could be some sort of attention that your home may require it could even be your mother requiring medical help so if her health is suffering if she requires your attention in any way or if anything needs to be fixed or renovated or done in your house then this is the week when you should not be ignoring this aspect at all as you move towards the second half of the week you will feel a certain sense of romance seeping into you and that is a good time to enjoy but for now remember one focus and that is your home aquarius this week is going to be a lot of balancing in life you will see that you have to actually pay attention to every pursuit of your life it starts from you where you will feel a lot of mental tension and stress coming upon you and you have to beat that by bringing some sort of an energy that takes you away from this overwhelming stress this this entire feeling of being trapped in a situation and one way to do that is by going for long walks remember there is nothing that can fix it better for you then by bringing long walks and especially towards the evening into your routine and you will be surprised how this is going to change things for you your younger sibling could demand attention from you people in your neighborhood could demand attention from you you may need to leave everything and focus on helping them out or helping your sibling out your work will actually demand a lot of presence of your mind so while you know things around you may require your attention you will actually be thinking about your work 
so you are actually stuck in a situation where practically every aspect of your life is trying to draw your attention to itself your spouse in terms of your spouse you may feel a certain sense of negativity towards them where you feel that you know they are perhaps being the reason for your stress they could be the reason why you're feeling angry or why you're not being able to do certain things so all in all all the areas of your life are going to be demanding a lot of your attention in the first half of the week towards the second half as you keep moving towards the weekend things are definitely going to get a lot better and you will actually see yourself enjoying with family and having some good family reunions pisces this week your family is going to demand a lot of your attention and focus you must pay attention to whatever it is that they are expecting from you don't be very bitter with them don't say things that you may regret later there may be a temptation to be mean to be nasty to be rude to your family but avoid doing that because this will go against you there could suddenly be a lot of competition that could come up at work but let this pass do not uh, interfere too much with the process Stay focused towards your work. Do not indulge in gossiping and backbiting because trust you me the moment you do that it is going to come back many folds to you. So actually the way forward this week is to literally zip up your mouth, to not say bitter things either to your family or to not say bitter things even in areas of your work to your colleagues or even talk ill about your colleagues. This is what you have to remember. since saturn and moon are in your 12th house there would be a lot of overthinking that could be going and overthinking could cause a lot of problems with mental stress and even your gut so the only way forward this week is to bring that balanced energy to yourself to lie low to not run too fast or too hard to focus on aspects of your life such as meditation and yoga and to just go through this week without doing too much of overthinking if you can avoid it remember too much thinking is the mother of most mess ups remember it's a bit of a daunting week and there are a lot of stresses and responsibilities that are going to come upon practically everybody but then it is only just a week and a lot can be accomplished if you focus more towards a healthier habits a healthier lifestyle until next week namaskar